Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I'm in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection version 15, and I'm going to show you one of the cool things you can do with our new product called Sparticles. Let's take a look. To create this effect, I've used one of the backgrounds from Sparticles and one of my wedding photos with the picture and picture effect that's in Pinnacle Studio. Now I've cleared the timeline so we can start over. Now the particular background I'm using from Sparticles is called Glamour Hearts. There's lots of, of nice backgrounds to choose from. This is the one I'm going to use in this particular example. So the first thing we want to do is, is drop that background in our video track. And second, I'm going to go grab my wedding photo and I'm going to put my photo in the overlay track. I'm going to double click on the photo to open my video toolbox. I'm going to set my duration here to match the video background. I'm going to set it to 10 seconds. And I'm also, as you can see, need to adjust the size of my photo. Okay, next I'm going to add the picture and picture effect. Now you can do that by choosing this tool right here, the tool that's called Edit the Video Overlay Using Picture and Picture or Chroma Keying. I'm going to click on that, and right here is the tab for picture in picture. The other tab is for chroma key. And down here, we're going to check this box that says Enable Picture in Picture. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and drag them over here to the left, left and center. And I'm going to add some rounded corners. And as you can see, put that frame around. I don't like that frame around. I'm going to, I'm going to turn the width down here so there's no frame okay and also I might make them a little bit bigger now you can grab the corners here and just make them a little bit bigger okay and when you got your picture where you want it next you need to add that title so we're going to choose our create or edit a title tool and we want to create a motion title overlay now you can set your font and size to what whatever you want to use, whatever size you want your title to be. I'm going to use the Garmon Premier Pro font, this size of 56. Okay, and I need to set my duration up here to 10 seconds as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and type my title. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to move them the title over to the right, right in center, so it'll be next to our picture, which is centered to the left. I'm also going to change the color of the title. Over here under settings, you'll see the fill eyedropper right here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to drop it in the background here, in a dark part of the background. Okay, and also I'm going to change the shadow from black to white. So I'm going to gra grab the eyedropper here, and I'm going to drop it in some white right here. Okay. And the last thing we need to do to the title is add some motion. So right over here is the motions tab or the motions tool. I'm going to click on that and it's on the enter tab already and the enter is how the title is going to come in to the screen. So I'm going to choose a page from right. What you do is just grab it and drop it down here on your timeline. Okay. And I'm going to click OK because we are finished. Let's take a look. It's that simple. Thanks for watching.